Hello there guys, uh, welcome to another video. It's Simon from STL Digital Media. In this video I want to talk to you about how to add images to the WordPress Media Library. It's quite a simple and straightforward thing to do. Uh, so without any uh, further ado, let's uh, get straight into that. Okay, so let's have a look at um, uploading images to the media library. What we've got here is I'm in the dashboard of my test site and you can see down the uh, side of the, the screen here, there's various options and one of which is media. Now to get to the media library, just simply click on media and then it brings you to this page you can see that there's already five images in the library already and what I want to do is I'm just going to add another one I've prepared another one off, off on another screen that I'm just going to to drag on to here but first I'm going to click on add new and then you can either select files from a particular place on your computer or you're gonna you can do as I'm about to do and that's just drag in a file which you can now see is uploaded it's just a, a random picture of a block of flats and a tree um, but that picture has now uploaded and I'm now free to add that to somewhere on my site but before I do that uh, what I need to do first is just to pay some attention to these uh, boxes here um, so as not to make the video too long I'm not going to go into a lot of I'm not going to actually type the, the details in myself but what I am going to do is just to explain a little bit about what each of these boxes should contain now the alternative text box or sometimes referred to as the alt text box um, it's probably the most important of all of these fields to be filled in and what it does is it describes the image to either search engines because a search engine is not able to see what is on a picture and it's also used by readers for people who have impaired vision and the information that you put in this uh, field needs to accurately but succinctly describe what's in the image so for this image I might write in there something like photograph showing a block of flats with a tree a blue sky and a p car parked nearby I could put in something like that and that helps Google or somebody with impaired vision understand what the pictures about you don't normally get to see the alternative text on the screen unless of course the picture is broken or the link to the picture is broken or it hasn't loaded and then you might see the alternative text but for most people who have vision and can actually see what's on the web page you're not actually going to to do to get much benefit from that but if you're putting your site together from an SEO perspective and from a perspective of helping those people who are in uh, who've got impaired vision you know this is a really important thing to do and it's important that your description accurately describes what the picture is you know another example of where this is important is if you put an image in your site which is a button which you're perhaps going to link to um, and enable people to buy a certain product you might put in your description something that says this is a button that enables somebody to buy whatever your product is so uh, that's the uh, essence of that particular a field and the information that needs to go in and into it now the title um, you'll see here in the, in terms of the title that's already there it's a series of letters and numbers 
and those letters and numbers are the numbers that would have been given to the file when the file when the picture was taken in my camera but what is better is if you put um, something that is a little bit more descriptive so I might put picture of block of flats um, because that shows a little bit more descriptively what the picture is the title the information in the title is is used internally by WordPress to locate the, the image in in the WordPress database so um, it could remain as that but it's just better if it's um, got a little bit more of a descriptive title it doesn't need to be long two or three words just to sort of say what it is and a, the best practice there is rather than having spaces between words is is that you either fill the spaces with a dash or an underscore that's definitely the, the better way to go now the caption can be uh, again it's a description you don't necessarily need to use this but what you might do is if a picture is not self-explanatory you might choose to put a description in this and when that description appears on your when the picture appears on your web page the description will uh, come will show underneath the the, the image um, so it, it's really a more of an optional thing but you so you have to kind of think well will it add any value to my web page if I do or if I don't put the caption in so that's a descript that's just a decision that, that you need to make the description um, what that can contain that can be a longer form description you know you can include in there things like keywords um, metadata for from your camera you know information about how the picture was taken um, where it was taken and the purpose of putting that information in there again it, it's not particularly crucial from a an SEO perspective and it doesn't necessarily help anybody with impaired vis uh, vision um, but each image on a WordPress site has a URL which you can actually see below and anybody who has that link can uh, get to see the description so you know you can put in here you know things that people might find to be useful you could also include copyright or com contact information so uh, as I say that can be a much longer form uh, description and can be you know anything that you like really and it can be as little or as much information as, as is, is needed and again that's a decision that you would need to make for yourself um, and I think that's all I need to say on that I hope that you found that useful um, if you have any comments then put them in the question in if you have any questions put them in the comments below um, and I'll do my best to answer them and I hope you found that useful and once again thanks for watching um, there's plenty more uh, videos coming up so if you've enjoyed this video and others that I've produced then please do give the videos a like please do subscribe it would be great to see you again and I look forward to seeing you again soon thanks very much